Hey guys, it's George, and today I'm going to be showing you how to remove uh, your game saves from the Steam Cloud permanently. Um, so, the first thing you... well actually, hold on, I have this list here so I can check I'm doing it right. I will just put this together. Um, so yeah, the first thing you're going to want to do is actually find out what the app ID is for your game that you want to remove your Steam Cloud game saves for. So if it has this symbol like the cloud it means it can uh, save game data and stuff like that up to the cloud so you can use it on multiple computers but um, if you want to actually delete or completely remove that so it doesn't sync at all you're going to need to find out what the uh, app ID is for that particular game so you can find it in your local directory um, so for this I'm going to be using Civ 5 simply because uh, there's actually no delete feature for saved games actually in the game so what you're going to want to do first is go to the store of that game, the store page and you're going to want to look up here and it says app and then the number so it's 8930 so 8930 and then what you're going to want to do is go to your steam directory and then you're going to want to go to user data so for me it's E because I've changed my directory to a different hard drive it will probably be C uh, program files if I just it will be like program files and then steam for you unless you've changed it as well but mine's on here and then steam user data this is um, your U, uh, steam ID you're going to need that later on and then here are all the games game like app IDs that um, steam is syncing with so we've got to find Civ which is 8930 which is here and there are two files, the remote file and the remote catch uh, VDF file. In the remote is actually where your cloud saves are. You can't simply just delete these because it just doesn't work like that. It will download it from the cl cloud because they're already up there. What you're going to have to do is now we found out where the things are we're going to have to close down Steam completely so hit exit and this will exit it, finishing Cloud Inc. That's annoying. Um, and now what we're going to do is we're actually going to corrupt the files uh, that are in the remote file folder even, sorry. And how we do that is we go to here and you hold down shift and right click on the remote uh, folder and we do open command window here so we are now doing this bit here and what we're going to want to write is PowerShell and let it do that and then we're going to want to write this but for you that like you have to put in the certain things so for me it's E but for you it might be C so basically you just put in the full um, file path of that remote which you can do from here like that and then you just copy that across so it's actually but I'm not sure if you can actually copy it but that's no you can't copy it but um that's how you can have it so it's like you know right next to you so you can actually just read it off so what you want to type is CLC and then your uh, hard drive directory and then your uh, steam then your user um, user data which is the folder it's all in and then another backslash and then then you're going to want to put in your steam ID which is this the folder that all the games are in um, so I'll just type that in And then 
the next thing you're going to want to do is the app ID, so um, Civ is 8930, and then you're going to want to do another backslash for the remote folder, and then backslash um, asterisk or star, and that's basically telling the computer to basically clear all of the files that are in here. You see how these have 500 kilobytes in size and stuff. When we press enter on this, it will um, like corrupt them and basically put them to zero KBS files. It would just there'd be nothing in the file, so therefore it's corrupt. And this is exactly what we're trying to do because later on we're going to need a certain dialogue to show within Steam that you can't get unless something like this happens. So we're basically forcing um, the dialogue to show that would usually happen if something was broken or corrupt file, and we're basically just corrupting it. So before you press enter, you might want to um, check that you've typed it in correctly. So yeah, that's going to do it. So now you see how these have changed to 0 KB. Those game saves are now corrupt. So we can exit this now. And now what we're going to want to do is go back and delete this file. That's just a catch for it. We don't need to have that. So now we've basically done the complicated bit as such. We've done all of that. We are now going to want to start Steam and the sync conflict should appear for the game. So with the amazing Steam loading speeds. This uh, it should now show sync conflict um, where it would normally show um, ready to play or install game, something like that. Right, so yeah, here we go, sync conflict. We've got a sync conflict now. What we're going to want to do is we're going to actually want to um, start the game and we'll get this. This is what we were trying to get, the cloud sync conflict. This is the dialogue, the dialogue window. Uh, we're not going to want to press anything yet. What we're actually going to want to do is um, go back to your remote folder and actually delete all of these files and I think we delete this one as well. I can't remember. I have to check this quickly. Yeah, we do delete this. And then all we simply do is press upload to Steam Cloud. Now it's syncing basically nothing. There's nothing to sync because it syncs it from here. Starts the game. Uh, I'm actually going to close it considering I don't need to. But because there's nothing to sync, it's all it's instantly ready to play again. And um, to make sure it works properly, like if you have any problems, all you do is right click on the game, go to properties, um, local files, and verify the integrity of game catch. And just let that do that. Basically, that's just checking that the game has all the files it needs. If it doesn't, it will automatically download those files and apply them when you next click play, making it, you know, as if you just installed the game again. And um, if you actually want to uh, disable Steam Cloud completely, like never use it, um, you will have to do it after this finishes. But you actually have to do this for each individual game, like you can't do it for m multiple games at the same time, you have to do it like this. And I'm probably going to pause this and come back when this is done. Okay, so now this is done, it's on 100% and there was one file missing and that's basically the file that allows it to run without crashing for the game. And now it's done that, Click close. It's automatically downloaded it, installed it, and all that. But if we want to um, completely remove Steam Cloud, all you've got to do is uncheck that. But obviously, you have to do that for uh, 
I think you have to do it for each game, or if I th you might be able to do it in the actual uh, settings. I don't know. Oh, yeah, there you go. You can turn it off completely there. Personally, I quite like it. I just don't like it when you can't delete it within game, which is the only problem you can't do in Civ 5. But, yeah, this should now run. I'm just going to end this recording and load up this game and then record it to prove that. So, yeah, Civ is now running. And uh, if I go to single player to load games, tick the Steam Cloud, they're now all empty. There were three here. But that's now completely gone and the game works fine. I mean, like, I can load all my games, everything's become perfectly normal. Everything's just deleted. So, yeah, if you have any questions or are struggling with this, Feel free to leave a um, comment in the description. Um, I will post this in the description of the video as well, so you can reference to it if it's easier. I personally find this was easier because it is quite a long process and can be quite complicated for some users. But um, yeah, so yeah, like I said, if you've got any questions, feel free to ask. I'll do my best to try and answer as fast as I can in much detail as I can to get your problems solved. Shouldn't have many problems considering it's like we're not changing any um code or anything in anything. So yeah, thanks guys. And remember to like and favorite and subscribe.